guys here's the battery right here your cheap um, Walmart brand uh, 650 cold cranking amps the date on it is from um, <clears throat> September of 2021 so it literally lasted to September of 2023 not bad for a cheap battery we have drained all of the electrolytes out of there all right guys we got the stick loader connected it's a 70 amp and we don't have uh, a knob to control it so I just have it on minimum current and as you can see we got a little bit of bubbling action going I did dump all the old liquid out so it probably has not that much electrolyte solution in there we do have a new electrolyte solution on the way but we're going to try this distilled water and see how that works out we're going to do five minutes and then let it rest all right guys we got the electrolyte solution and we're going to individually pour each one of these into the six different cells and then we'll add the distilled water to top it off guys we got the acid in there and we got our distilled water topped it off i did a battery check it says nine volts and we're going to let this charge uh, slowly for 10 hours and then we'll come back and we'll test it again but uh, yeah we added the acid in there and it's just a small amount to each cell and then after that we put the distilled water in there to top it off so we'll see how it goes all right guys we're getting ready to put the battery in the truck but let me give you a quick summary of everything i've done to this battery the first thing i did was remove it from the truck and tested it it was at eight to nine volts um we dumped all of the old electrolyte slash distilled water out of the battery and refilled it with just plain distilled water we used a 70 amp stick welder to uh cleanse the cells we put the 70 amp stick welder on low amperage for 15 minutes and we did get it the distilled water to bubble uh, after that we checked the voltage and it was at zero volts we dumped out that distilled water and we added uh, electrolyte solution and topped it off with distilled water at that point the battery was at nine volts we then put it on a 10 amp charger on low maintenance mode and uh, I think it went up to 15, 16 volts at one point and it just brought it down slowly. We did that for 22 hours. And uh, once we stopped charging for 22 hours, it's completely charged, sitting at about 13.4 volts. And we are about to put this battery back into the truck and uh, get it started. And here's the truck old beater truck right here all right guys we got the battery inside the truck we're holding at 13.1 volts which is still more than enough as long as we're over 12 volts and we're gonna start the truck up take you guys along with me let's zoom it out and uh we just renewed the battery should crank right over yeah easy crank and we'll check the voltage on here alternator is working 23 bucks so as you can see the battery renew was a success 23 bucks I don't think I'll be buying any more batteries for 180 bucks or 200 bucks. That's for sure. We're going to uh, probably stock up some more uh, electrolyte solution uh, slash battery acid. 
and uh, we'll just be uh, renewing our batteries from here on out.